go to cruise and accelerate. Okay, and this is the stairway to heaven, a loading ramp for out in the back of the truck. Over here we've got the uh, launch cradles, and the real high front section on the launch cradles here is just so that when you're loading, you don't overshoot, end up with the glider sitting into the back of the truck and not in the cradles. Uh, down here in the center, this has been tarped over. Uh, what it's for is to prevent anybody from uh, running their tow line underneath the cross bridge, which joins the two cradles. Uh, you've got these two bumper pads on each side so that when you get up on the deck that you're not going to end up rolling past and getting underneath the support brackets. Um, on the far side there you have the release and right now the truck's fitted with the uh, rear rack. So. Only the one or two rigid wing pilots in the world that ever would want a truck tow, but uh, on my rig this here is the uh, outriggers that we use to give the glider some stability on the truck. Um, and they fold up so I can use it for flex wing towing or rigid wing towing. And the essence of how they work is uh, you just end up sliding them out, put in a retaining pin, and then for loading the glider, you uh, lower them. And the process of lowering them will uh, sweep them forward and down, and once the glider's sitting in the cradles, the launch cradles, we've got the glider rack on here right now, but once, uh, once you get the uh, uh, glider on the truck, ready to tow, uh, you bring both outriggers up and lock them down. There's also a minor adjustment in the sweep here to accommodate two different types of gliders. The VS and the VR both have a slightly different sweep in the way they sit on the truck. So by having a little bit of an adjustment in the sweep here, you can set it up for each glider so they custom fit. Nice thing about the outriggers though is that they uh, prevent the glider from being tossed forward into the truck. Okay, uh, just thought I'd do a sweep through of the parts and stuff that we've got here. Uh, there's the locking mechanism that holds the slider. And here's the, uh, the mechanism used for releasing and allowing the outriggers to sweep forward and down for loading. And over here we have the adjustments that we use for uh, adjusting the sweep back and forth on the, uh, the vehicle for the two different kinds of gliders. And then up here on top we've got our, our uh, pads that we use for uh, sitting underneath the D-cells when the glider's on the truck. Okay, and then uh, here's another part of my system that, uh, that you have to put in place if you're going to tow a rigid, uh, rigid wing versus a flex wing, is you have to uh, accommodate the two different tow heights for the nose release. Uh, rigid wing sits really low on the truck, so what you want to do is you want to uh, have it so that when you're uh, hooked up through your nose release, your line is just below horizon, just a little bit less than level, slightly downhill to the release point and to make sure that you accommodate both kinds of gliders. I've got a uh, pin system. Pull the pin, raise the tower up for flex, or and set the pin or bring it back down for rigid wing. Two different settings, two different kinds of gliders. Okay, um, in addition to the conventional hydraulic cylinder, master cylinder, and brake caliper used in the braking system on, on my auto tension winch, is the addition of a slave cylinder, which is teed into the hydraulic assembly, and a spring used to control actual line tension, and the pivot mechanism, which is connected via this actuator arm in here, through to the hydraulics part of this assembly here, which in fact allows the brake caliper to free float without resistance on the axis of the drum. Uh, the way it works is you set your tow line tension with the spring, 
and the caliper will tension up and pull to the point where the hydraulic pressure is reduced in the system to the preset line tension that you're trying to get after here. The uh, system's completely automatic. It takes a little bit to get everything at the exact right dimensions. Uh, you want a very subtle movement in the actuator to the slave cylinder and you want just the right kind of spring tension that works uh, the right range uh, of uh, travel that keeps you governed in the right uh, uh, tote line tension. Um, okay, and I'll have to set myself up here so I can uh, uh, actually give a line uh, demonstration of how the pressure system works. Okay, I'm just going to do one more demonstration here of the auto tension system. And this time I'm going to try and show how that, uh, how in slow motion the thing actually governs the tow line tension. So if you lift off the truck and begin towing, the pressure is going to drop down to its preset point, which is where the tension of the spring rele releases enough to drop the hydraulic pressure so that you achieve kind of an equilibrium in the system, and that gives you your net tow line force. If you begin sinking and uh, you get less tow line pressure, you'll see that the gauge rises. And at the same time, should the uh, should you hit lift uh, and the glider is uh, uh, pulling harder on the tow line, uh, what's going to happen is the pressure is going to drop and it's going to release line. And all these things also come together, come to play when it includes the uh, uh, things like heat coefficient changes on the brake pads any particular nesting that might take place of the tow line binding into the drum, and any variables involving, you know, dust, organics on the disc brake, that sort of thing, all get taken up in the tension control system. So again, as, as I say, if you lose pressure, you're going to end up uh, building, or lose line tension, you're going to build pressure. If you gain line tension, you're going to lose pressure. Uh, one interesting aspect of the system is when the pilot releases at the other end, my gauge will suddenly jump back up to its preset point. And that'll help indicate that either he's come off the line or he's in serious sink. Pressure, road clear, no air traffic, no dust devils ready to tell.